Hey, good morning everyone. It's Mary Fane Brandt with a LinkedIn Bakery and I'm back. I was gone for a couple of Monday motivation with Mary. One day I was sick and the last Monday was Memorial Day. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys are aware that if it's a holiday Monday, I'm not going to be jumping on live uh, for a couple of reasons. I'm taking that day off. <laughs> I'm probably out doing something with my family, and I figure that you guys are too. But if you need a quick motivation tip, hey, drop me a comment and let me know that you do want these Monday motivation tips. Anyways, I am so glad to be back. And you know what? Monday has become one of my favorite days. When I was in my corporate job, definitely was not my favorite day. I dreaded it, and I actually had to condition some anxiety thing about Mondays. It was awful. But having my own business, Mondays are great, and I really like Mondays. I think part of it is mindset. So I kind of like to go over my schedule on Sunday, see what my week's going to look like, rearrange any appointments that I need to do, and send out any emails uh, for appointments that I need to confirm. And I feel like Mondays is like a clean plate. It's a new week. I get to start the week off joyful, rested most of the time, and... Uh, yeah, so I love Mondays, but today's topic, we are going to talk about that four-letter ugly word, fear. That's right, we're talking about fear today. Hey, if you're joining me today, I'd love to know where you're watching from and what type of business are you in, so just drop a comment below, and if you're watching the replay, please type in replay because I do go back in and I engage and answer questions and maybe connect you with someone or provide a resource for you. So I don't want this to be one-sided. We definitely want this to be an engagement Monday motivation, and I promise to get you Monday motivations in seven minutes or less because we're all running around on Monday trying to get out the door or trying to get to our appointments, or maybe you're trying to get to the gym. Excuse me, my nose itches. <laughs> So let's talk about today's topic, which is fear. Anybody out there ever be fearful of something, whether it's personal or professional, right? Uh, I'm fearful all the time, and I just have to wrap my head around it, that God did not design us. He did not put in our DNA to be fearful. He didn't design us to be afraid of things. He designed us to be successful and blessed, and happy, and joyful. So all that fear, that negative, those little voices in our head, like, I can't do that. You know, mine is, some people know, I always say I'm not smart enough, which is kind of ironic. I have a couple degrees and a certificate, and anyways, I'm a lifelong learner, but I have this silly voice in my head saying I'm not smart enough. Or, as an entrepreneur, what do we do, folks? We compare ourselves with everybody else. So I even have fear. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, Mary, you're always doing these videos and these lives and you're everywhere and you're networking. You make it look so easy. Well, it gets easier with time, but that doesn't mean that I'm not fearful about going live and saying the wrong thing. That doesn't mean that I'm fearful going to a networking event, not knowing who's going to be there. What am I going to say? Who am I going to talk to? Fear. It's an ugly four-letter word. But I think we need to talk about how to get over your fears. So the first step, step number one is, what is your fear? So as I'm sharing and being vulnerable with yours, mine is always, I'm not smart enough. There's always someone smarter than me, which is true. So why am I having that fear? Of course there's someone smarter than me. There's a lot of people smarter than me, but I'm smarter than other people. When I'm saying smart, like I'm smart enough in my, my business to make the right decisions and to do the trainings that I do. So what fear do you have right now today, this week, that we can address? You don't have to put it in the comments because that's personal. But hey, if you want to share it and, and get some encouragement, by all means, tell me what fear you have this week. What is fear holding you back from? I'm going to share a personal story with you. I've had in my mind for over a year to create a LinkedIn course for upcoming graduates and recent graduates, right, to help them understand how to position themselves on LinkedIn, and how to go about job searches. There's a lot that needs to go into that. And any job search, if you're looking for a job, you need to be on LinkedIn, but not just be on LinkedIn. You need to be active on LinkedIn. There's a whole lot that you need to do. And I've had this idea in my head for a year. Have I acted on it? No. Why? Time was some of it, but fear. So I'm thankful that my... Um, marketing partner, uh, coach, Stephanie Novinskis, um, 
recently shared an opportunity with me to submit my online course. Was I scared? Yeah. But here's what I want to share with you. Worst case scenario, they say no. That's it. Best case scenario, they say yes. I got a 50-50 shot. So I'm happy to say that I typed up an outline, um, tweaked a few things because my online course is really for entrepreneurs. So we're going to tweak it to make it job seekers. I submitted it to the person who's reviewing all the courses and we have a phone call Tuesday. So I'm really hopeful that it's going to be accepted. And this will be my step into that online uh, training, uh, teaching online courses at universities, I hope. But regardless, you know what? I'm putting myself out there. Is it perfect? No. Is it good? Yes. Am I smart enough to teach it? Yes. So I have to put that fear behind me. It's not a done deal, but at least I asked. So my whole point is, what fear do you have right now this week, whether it's personally or professionally? If you want to share it, I can give you some encouragement. I am your personal cheerleader. Remember that? But I also keep it real and authentic. Um, what is the worst thing that could happen for this fear? So maybe you need to raise your prices. Um, maybe you're not, you know, maybe you raise your prices by a couple hundred dollars or five hundred dollars. What's the worst case scenario? You're going to attract the clients that can actually afford you, right? <laughs> I recently raised my prices and it was great. <laughs> it was fabulous. Um, I had two clients sign up within two weeks when I decided, you know what? I need to up that. And it's getting ready to happen again. Um, maybe you're looking for a speaking opportunity. You've got to ask. You actually need to talk to people. So the biggest mistake I see and hear is that we don't know what you need or want. And my husband is great at that. Like, he is looking for a new job. But you've got to tell people. Obviously, you know, his employer probably shouldn't tell them, but I think they kind of know. But you've got to get out there and you've got to talk to people. And you've got to tell them what you're looking for. What's, what's your ask? What do you need? A speaking gig? New clients? Um, maybe you're looking for a new networking group. It could be something as simple as that. Maybe you're looking for a workout partner. Talk about it, folks, because someone out there wants to help you. Someone out there has the answer. Someone out there can guide you so you can get on your path and get out, get off the fear path and get on the I'm going to get it done path. So asking, identifying what your fear is, asking for what you need, and then telling yourself, you know what, what's the worst thing? They say no. What do they say in a job search is that um, you, yeah, like, it's like 20 no's for three yeses. But what's the best thing that could happen? They could say yes. They could introduce you to a big stage for you to go speak on. They could connect you with someone that's going to help you write your course. There's a lot of great things that could happen. So I want us to get rid of that fear this week. Take one step. Whether it's writing an email, making a phone call, posting a question in a group, just one step. So I want to encourage you all to get rid of that ugly four-letter word, fear, and just go out there and do it. Hey, this Wednesday, I have Jen's Trends coming on. She's talking all about Instagram, 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. She is going to be dropping all kinds of bite-sized tips. I can't wait to have her on. We met through Social Media Marketing World. I love that conference. I've made some really great, long-lasting relationships and colleagues and partnerships. So join me this Wednesday, 7 p.m. We'll drop the link right below this. And please share this video. And hey, share the Facebook Live. It's about 30 to 45 minutes. Just depends. events, you'll see Jen's trends, um, and you can go ahead and drop your questions in so she can be prepared and answer your questions in the order that we receive them. Y'all have a great day. I got to run, but hey, get rid of fear, tackle it, make that phone call, send that email. High five. Bye.